YouTube, LJ Draco here. Um, okay, so I'd already recorded this in a different angle, but uh, the video was 50 something minutes long and it was uh, horrible to edit. And then I'd gotten up to 70 minutes of editing and the whole video froze. So I'm going to have to redo the 3D and TV series videos uh, like I did the second half, which you'll see. It's just rapid fire pick up show put down pick up show put down um i'm gonna have to do that for this segment i'm not uh in the other version of this i actually spoke quite a bit about some of these titles i'm not going to do that this time but if there's any titles here in my 3d blu-rays or in my tv show blu-rays or steel books that you'd like me to review talk about a bit more in depth leave a comment down below about which one you'd like to see me talk about maybe then reason i am wearing the hood you'll see in the video i'm wearing a different t-shirt because that was yesterday I'm wearing a hood is because it's absolutely freezing. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just let's get into it because it's already at one minute and I've only got 35 minutes of recording left on my phone. Um, so I'm just going to rapid fire show. Very, very also quick brief description is my 3D titles are organized into Disney's, Marvel, DC, comic books, Sony, Dream, oh no, DreamWorks, Sony, Universal. Then it just goes into alphabetical because all the other genres are confusing. Um, some genres have, or well, some movies have uh, a similar kind of, well, let's put it this way. One movie can be from sci-fi, but then a movie that's linked to it could be like a horror thriller. And it's just too confusing trying to find out where they go. Um, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, let's get into this because it's already two minutes. Right, so Disney's. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, the original, amazing. Big Hero 6, also really good. Frozen, um, interesting. 3D made it better. Moana, a beautiful 3D release. Tangled, uh, one of my favourite more modern Disney 3D movies. Zootropolis, the 3D movie that made me appreciate in depth 3D. Coco, fantastic movie with or without the 3D. Finding Nemo, haven't seen this, but demo tested the 3D. 3D was pretty good. Finding Dory, pretty much the same thing. Inside Out, bought for me and eyes to watch. We haven't got around to it yet, but when we do, you'll see a video on it. Monsters University, um, big surprise. Monsters Inc, one of my favourites. Bolt, also a good surprise. Planes, wish it was a Pixar to go with cars, but still pretty good. Live action Beauty and the Beast, um, love, absolutely love it. Jungle Book, anniversary present from Alice, and uh, 3D got better when I got a full HD set. When I first watched it, the 3D wasn't that noticeable because it was only 720p. Oz the Grand Powerful, watched this the other day, still love it. Maleficent, great story, 3D not that great, but adds something to the story that's still quite enjoyable. Ghost of the Abyss, uh, one of the rarest titles I've bought. Uh, 3D fantastic, James Cameron is still the legend. Tron Legacy 3D, don't know why I bought this, because the 3D uh, upsets me in some ways, but it, when I rewatched it, certain parts made me really enjoy it. Little Mermaid, probably the worst Disney 3D Blu-ray I've ever purchased. Um, I'm just going to probably exchange this for the standard version. Chicken Little, a movie I hated, but watching it in 3D made me quite like it. On to Marvel movies. Ant-Man, a great surprise to the MCU. 3D was fantastic. Um, full frame. Avengers Assemble, also a great full frame 3D Marvel movie. Age of Ultron, which is a letterbox one. Unfortunately, uh, being letterbox, let it down. I'm not going to say letterbox or full frame to every title. I was just doing some. Um, Avengers Infinity War. Big shock. Thought I was going to hate this film. Really enjoyed it. Black Panther, my favourite MCU movie so far. Captain America Civil War, the only Captain America worth having in 3D. Doctor Strange. 
probably my second or third favourite MCU 3D movie. Guardians of the Galaxy. Second or third. It's a tie between that and Doctor Strange. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, this is my fourth or fifth. Thor Ragnarok. My fourth or fifth. <laughs> Spider-Man Homecoming is my sixth. That, that's the, the, the least favourite, but more than the others. Amazing Spider-Man. Great story. 3D quite terrible. Amazing Spider-Man 2. 3D incredible. Story not so much. X-Men Days of Future Past. 3D lacking. Story. It's reasonable. X-Men Apocalypse. 3D incredible. Story. Amazing. Batman v Superman. Um... Dawn of Justice, the Ultimate Edition. Ultimate Edition is the better way to watch it. Unfortunately, Ultimate Edition is only in 2D. 3D is actually pretty good. Green Lantern. Um, I'm a big fan of the film, and the 3D is pretty incredible. Justice League. Wasn't a fan of this film at all. 3D is pretty good, though. Suicide Squad. Uh, great movie, great 3D. Enjoyable. Wonder Woman. The best 3D and DCEU movie so far. Uh, Dread, it's in a printed sleeve that I found online because I bought this as a disc only for a pound. Home in 3D, um, it took me a while to get this but a really good purchase. How to Train Your Dragon, one of my favourite dragon movies and also my favourite DreamWorks movie. 3D is really good. How to Train Your Dragon 2. Um, it's linked with the first, so they're both equal tie for first place. Madagascar 3, an incredible 3D title. Um, didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Megamind 3D, same as Madagascar, just absolutely incredible. Monsters vs. Aliens. Uh, I got this for 50p at a charity shop in London, and wow. Uh, it's worth more than 50p, but I'm happy I paid that much for it. Penguins of Madagascar, um, same as Madagascar 3. 3D is incredible. Rise of the Guardians, or as Alice calls it, Rise of the Kardashians. Good 3D. I don't know why she calls it that. Shrek, uh, great conversion. Shrek 2, yet again another great conversion. And Shrek the 3rd, same, great conversion. I do not own Shrek Ever After because I actually hate that movie. I don't think it was worth purchasing on Blu-ray, let alone 3D. Uh, Turbo, great story. 3D not so much, but the 3D adds some bits to the story. Angry Birds, I bought this um, as a blind buy. Um, 3D looks reasonable. Story doesn't. Cloud of a Chance of Meatballs, 3D is hit and miss, some parts look good, some parts look flat, but the story is amazing. 3D and story falls really flat with the second one, I didn't enjoy this one as much. Hotel Transylvania, amazing movie and amazing 3D. Hotel Transylvania 2, same as the first. Monster House, only own this on Blu-ray as the 3D does not exist on that. Minions 3D got from Poundland, 3D is as good as Madagascar and Penguins, um, story, it's not as good as Despicable Me, but it's still interesting. Sing, a lot better than all of them. The Adventures of Tintin, uh, 3D Blu-ray was is not as good as the theatre release, um, but it's it's okay. Uh, um, a Turtles Tale of Sammy's Adventures, uh, amazing children's animated 3D movie. Uh, if you've got like really young children who just like animation movies and you've got a 3D TV at home you want to entertain them, that's a really good title. So is its um, sequel, Sammy's Great Escape. Escape from Planet Earth, It no, it's not that great. House of Magic is better than Sammy's Total Tale. Um, Story-wise, they're about the same, but 3D, I notice, even though Sammy's Total Tale has a great 3D, Actually, no, I think these are both tied. I, I'm not going to lie. I think they are. Uh, the Lego Movie. 3D is lacking, but story is incredible. 
Lego Batman 3D movie uh, story and 3D is incredible. I haven't got Lego Ninjago 3D yet, I need that. Polar Express, um, an already okay movie, but with the 3D involved, it's a lot better. Zuzu and Quest for Zoo. I bought this for Alice because she likes cute little things and I thought 3D it might make her enjoy 3D a bit more, but we haven't got around to it yet. Avatar, uh, one of the best 3D Blu-rays to ever exist. reason why Blu-ray 3D at home kicked off in the first place was purely because of this. Beowulf 3D, didn't know this existed until one day I looked it up randomly on Amazon and found one and enjoy it. Creature from the Black Lagoon, probably one of the best noir type 3D Blu-rays to exist. I think if you're going to watch something that's classic in black and white and you also want to watch something really good in 3D, this entertains both of what you want. Uh, the non... The non... Um, Gary Oldman Darkest Hour, this is the... Um, I'll bring this one a bit closer so you can see this one a bit more in detail. Uh, this is about an alien invasion in Paris... Um, Really good 3D. Really good story. Doctor Who, Day of the Doctor. I did not expect to ever see a Doctor Who 3D Blu-ray, and I'm glad that we did, because this is fantastic. Everest, a 3D movie where the 3D is not that noticeable, but there are certain scenes where just just the edges of the rocks look quite good, but the story alone, um, probably one of the most emotional movies I've seen based on true story, that I did a very emotional, heartfelt review for. Flying Swords of Dragon's Gate. Yeah, I got that right. Um, <laughs> re recommended to me by uh, Roger. Ghost in the Shell. Haven't seen this yet, but did a de uh, demo run like I do with all 3D titles. Uh, really good 3D. I'm looking forward to actually finishing that title. Gods of Egypt. Uh, story's really good. 3D is okay. It's more in-depth than anything. Godzilla. Haven't finished either. Still a great 3D title from what I've seen. Just, it, unfortunately, the film's quite dark, so you don't get to enjoy the 3D as much as you would. But from what I've seen, it looks good. Gravity, probably one of the best, like, under-casted movies. There's not a big cast. It's just mainly two people, but the, the alone in space the, uh, theme is quite gripping. Especially in 3D. Sorry if you heard me hit the microphone. The Great Gatsby, a film that didn't look like it would be in 3D, but the fact that it is made it so much better. The 3D is just freaking wow. Uh, the Great Wall, a lot of people complained about this film, saying that it's been whitewashed, but in the end, it's a monster movie. It's not really about the Great Wall as a like a documentary. To, it, it's, it's just like a sci-fi monster movie. Um, it's enjoyable for that. I, I like it. Harlock Space Pirate. 3D is fantastic. If you want to know my full thoughts, I have got a review on this. Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2. I did give a mention to the person who gave me this for my birthday um, in the update video I did recently. I'm trying to get through this quickly so I don't have time to really mention any names for anyone. I do apologise, but he knows who he is, so yeah. Hugo, uh, a movie that made me really appreciate Sasha Baron Cohen as an actor, and the 3D is just phenomenal. I, Frankenstein, a film that made me really enjoy Aaron Eckhart as an actor. Journey to the Centre of the Earth, fantastic. Jurassic Park, one of the best 3D conversion movies I've seen. Uh, Jurassic World, a really good 3D title. Kong Skull Island, um, also very, very amazing. Love the story and love the film in 3D. Uh, Kubo and the Two Strings, I uh, haven't watched this yet. This is a new title I just picked up this month um, due to the Zoom sale. 3D looks good, story sounds interesting. The Legend of Hercules, uh, a movie that I thought was going to be very crap. Story and 3D, and both surprised me. Uh, give me a quick second, I've got to pause the video just to shift some movies around because I'm having trouble accessing the second pile. Right, fix the sec the problem. So, uh, Legend of Tarzan. Um, story good. 3D is not that great, but it does add some detail to the story. Pacific Rim in my top ten favorite 3D Blu-rays you must own. 
Pacific Rim Uprising. Uh, story was okay in some parts, but the 3D was a letdown to its predecessor. Pixels, a 3D Blu-ray that's always been bad in 3D, but I keep picking up every time I see it from Poundland because for some reason I just got it. Pompeii, story was terrible, 3D amazing. Ready Player One, story was amazing, 3D was also a letdown for this, which kind of sucks, but it added some things to certain scenes, uh, not every scene looked good in 3D, but you know, if you've seen this, you'll know what I mean, only certain scenes kind of needed it, and certain scenes was okay without. R.I.P.D., uh, I like this film, I think it's a good kind of like spin-off from Men in Black, I think the 3D's really good. <laughs> Silent Hill Revelations 3D. Any horror movie that's done well in 3D uh, deserves a, a tick in my book. This was incredible. Spy Kids 3D and Sharp Boy and Lava Girl 3D both are fantastic 3D titles. And actually, speaking of which, not as in story, but as a 3D release, these two titles are the best 3D releases. And the only reason why is because in certain scenes of the movie, it gives you a break from wearing the glasses. Like it tells you take the glasses off and then we'll turn the scene into a 2D scene. Just to give your eyes a rest and, and to not make you strain for two to three hours watching constant 3D. So yeah, I appreciate that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3D. Um, I don't care who slams Michael Bay. He speaks to the real children in our hearts. We want giant mutated turtles kicking the crap out of other people and stuff. That's what he gave us. TMNT 2 Out of the Shadows, uh, a lot better than the first, and um, just the 3D keeps getting better and better. The Three Musketeers, story was okay, 3D not so much, um, but I actually really enjoyed this film. Titanic, James Cameron is still, as I said earlier, a legend, he knows how we want 3D and he gives it us, even in films that we're not too keen on. Transformers Dark of the Moon, hit the microphone again. Um, really good. Age of Extinction 3D, uh, a little bit, it was more improved than Dark of the Moon. Dark of the Moon had subtle pop out, but with more in-depth. Age of Extinction gave us 50-50 um, of each. Um, so that was quite a nice surprise. Then, Transformers The Last Night. Story sucked. 3D, incredible. Underworld Awakenings, not seen it, 3D looks okay. Valerian, my favourite 2017 3D release, uh, just story beautiful, 3D beautiful, very well done. The Walk in 3D, uh, a great true life story. The 3D is not needed up until the end, uh, but with the end you do get a really good 3D um, experience. I made a quick cut, just take the hood off. Um, it started getting a bit warm. Um, started feeling a bit dizzy. So, yeah, let's continue. Uh, Warcraft 3D. I thought the 3D for this sucked when I first bought it, but that's because I didn't have the new setup, the full HD setup. Had the 720p setup. Once I got the full HD setup uh, and watched Utropolis, I appreciated the 3D more for this. Wizard of Oz, one of the best conversion 3Ds to ever exist. Probably the best. 3D conversion to ever exist. World War Z 3D. This is a kind of newer purchase of mine. A recent watch as well. I only watched this about a couple of weeks back. 3D was fantastic. Story was amazing. And made me actually like Brad Pitt as an actor. Uh, these last few 3D titles are 3D titles in 2D sleeves. Because this is how they came. Um, not officially. Just um, for example... Uh, Two of the well, two of these came in 2D sleeves because these were actually the 2D releases, but were, we were given the 3D versions in the 2D cases, and these ones were actually in uh, 2D form. So you'll see it that way. Now let's just go through at least whilst last ones. Uh, you go Bonds Beyond Time, the best 3D Blu-ray I own. I recommend it to everyone. 
Conan the Barbarian, haven't watched it, 3D looks a bit flat. Drive Angry, 3D incredible, and I really enjoy this film, I think he should have played Ghost Rider this way. Edge of Tomorrow, 3D fantastic, story fantastic, made me a Tom Cruise fan. It came from outer space. It's pretty much in line with Creature from the Black Lagoon. And Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul. Uh, 3D okay. Right, so that is it. That is my re-recording re of this, which is a lot quicker. I mean, this is only about 20 minutes, whereas the other one was 50-something minutes. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to edit, a lot calmer for my heart to, do, to deal with. Um... Although this is only this bit, I've got to quickly just go through my Steelbooks TV series. So what will take me two seconds, uh, well, which, no, what will take you two seconds, it's taking me about 20, 20 minutes. Back in a minute. Right, this is it, last bit of this part, and then obviously straight after I've done this, you'll see yesterday's video of my entire Blu-rays. Sorry it's been done separately, sorry it's all gone wrong. Um, just hopefully you still enjoy this video, at least it's not as long as it would have been because the other video I was going to do was over an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes long. This will be a lot shorter. So, uh, still books, then series. Twenty twelve. This is an empty still book, Captain America. This was damaged at a shop in London. Guy was selling it for five pounds because he classes it as a DVD. Uh, but it's empty. I just thought I'd pick it up because it looked kind of nice, but it's got a giant scratch on the spines and dents. At the time I was collecting anything. Well, actually at the time it had a Blu-ray in it, but the Blu-ray went missing. Uh, Lost Boys. Minority Report. Salt. My favourite still book, The Shape of Water. Uh, the most beautifully designed still book I've ever seen or ever owned. TV shows. Boardwalk Empire Season 1. Boardwalk Empire Season 2. Boardwalk Empire Season 3. Devil May Cry animated series. I don't have Boardwalk Season 4 or 5. I need to get those. Game of Thrones Season 3. Mad Men Season 1. Mad Men Season 2. Mad Men Season 3. Mad Men Season 4. Mad Men Season 5. Mad Men Season 6. And Mad Men Season 7. Part 1 and Part 2. Prison Break Season 1. Prison Break Season 2. Prison Break Season 3. Prison Break Season 4. Prison Break The Special. And Star Trek The Next Level. Three episodes of The Next Generation remastered in HD, which look incredible. Right, so that is it. That is these 3D Blu-rays and series. So... Next up will be Blu-rays. See you then. Right, as I said, very quick second for you. Uh, it's taken about 45 minutes for us. Um, I'm not sitting in my chair. I've decided to stand up. It's easier, believe me. Right, so... Like I said, no conversations or descriptions. It's just going to be quick showing of each movie because this is seven tiers worth of about 50-something titles on each shelf. Yeah, it's a very long process. Right, so let's do this very quickly. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Tarzan. Wreck-It Ralph. A Bug's Life. Toy Story, Up, Wally, Dinosaur, Frank and Weenie, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm gonna have to dull down these lights. They're a bit too bright. The glare is shining a bit. Uh, just about there. That should be enough. Alice in Wonderland. Bedtime Stories. Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. G 
G-Force. James and the Giant Peach. National Treasure 2, because National Treasure is really expensive. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of Black Pearl. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. I do not own the fifth. I'm still waiting for that to go down. Prince of Persia, great movie. Sources Apprentice, another great movie. The original Tron um, opened up a new world to video game kind of movies, if you think about it. Tron Legacy, the standard release. Because I have to own multiple copies of Tron. It just just one of those things. Arietti. Uh, this is the thing that I was trying to ask for in a video. I took this very briefly. This is the uh, a scan print of the US sleeve. I do not want this. I don't want this US. Because one. The cast names are wrong. Two. It says Disney Studios. Um, this is my Howl's Moving Castle release. Um, anyone who has a Arietti sleeve. Not a slip cover, a sleeve. If they have an Arietti version of, of this with the number and the silver with the ratings, please can you let me know if you've got the UK version and if you can like scan it and send it to me via email so I can print it to match. Really don't like this one. Um, I, I like the movie, Arietti and How's Moving Castle. Iron Man. Iron Man 2, Ghost Rider, um, I like this film, uh, it's better than the sequel, the Tobey Maguire trilogy of Spider-Man, uh, really good, I, I still am a fan of number 3, I just think the ridiculous dancing is stupid, um, Deadpool and Deadpool uh, 2, only reason why Deadpool 2 is in the red case is because originally when I first got Deadpool on its day of release, I hated red cases. And I, I gave it to the brother-in-law. Um, I will be getting a red case soon to put this back in. Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. Yet again, another set of movies that I don't care what people think. I thought they were quite good for the time. Then you've got X-Men, X-Men 2. X-Men Last Stand, X-Men Wolverine Origins, X-Men First Class, The Wolverine, and Logan. Batman, 1989. Batman Returns. Batman Forever. Batman and Robin. These were the sleeves I was telling you about, like Dread, the comic book. Only because the ones that I got didn't have the original sleeves. Batman Begins. Dark Knight. Dark Knight Rises. Superman, first movie. Man of Steel. Road to Perdition. V for Vendetta. Watchmen, my favourite DC movie of all time. Batman Assault on Arkham. Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Right, so that's the first tier. And let's get on to the second tier. Right, so, tier two. Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Actually a really, really great movie. Green Lantern First Flight. This is the one I was talking about earlier. Great movie. Got it from Poundland with a slip that I really, really like the slip of. But I took it off. Um, yeah. Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. Hellboy. Hellboy 2. Uh, the Golden Army. Um, I know Sasha's probably asking like where uh, custom sleeves that he made. Um, like why they're not in the cases. I've explained this to a couple of my friends and family before. I don't know if I've ever explained it with you. 
every couple of days or every couple of weeks, I change my sleeves to all my movies if they've got ones that you've made customs of or if I've made customs myself, or if they have alternate artwork. I just change them every couple of days or weeks just so they look different every so often. Um, but yeah. So I have still got them. I just change between the originals and the ones you've done just to keep the collection looking different as well. Uh, more entertaining. Sin City. Ghost in the Shell, the original. Pokemon, the first movie. Pokemon 2000 and Pokemon... Uh, three of the movie. I refuse to own that. I choose you, crap. Oh, my favourite release of this year. Whoop. Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie. <laughs> uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, the Dark Side Dimensions. Uh, this was not that great. Right, now this is where the movies start getting into different genres. I'll be very, very brief about this. Um... Yeah, so what you just saw from the tier 1 up to the beginning of tier 2 was my Disney's into heroes into mangas. This is now just alphabetical, so it goes from numbers down to Z or Z. Um, but this is also where I said things get weird. Like You'll see what I mean. Like Sequels that have different letters are still next to the ones that first begin with that. So you'll see what I mean. Let's just get into it. 9. 10 things I hate about you. 21 Jump Street. 22 Jump Street. 127 Hours. A Nightmare on Elm Street. 18. Absolutely Anything. Anchorman. Anchorman 2. Animal Kingdom, which I recently watched, and I, I, I've got a review I need to do about that, along with Departed and Heat. Argo. Arthur and, and The Great Adventure. I think the first one was Arthur and the Invisibles. The Artist. Assassin's Creed. Back to the Future. Back to the Future 2. Back to the Future 3. Keep the arm supposed to hold them on this side and they keep holding them on this side but you guys can't see. Backtrack. Bad Boys. Badlands. Don't want these to fall. Batteries not included. Battle of Los Angeles. Beautiful Creatures. Birdman. Black Sea. Blade Runner. Blood Diamond. Do you know what? I'm just going to turn the light off. The, the glare is still kind of bad. I thought I could improve it. Ah! I'm blind! There we go. Tell me if this is better. Braveheart. Better to me. Bridesmaids. Should have done this from the beginning. Bruce Campbell versus the Army of Darkness. Although it was originally called Evil Dead 3. So fuck you. Burlesque. Byzantium. Cable Guy. The Campaign. Love that movie. Cool. Casino Royale. Chappie. Children of Men. This is um, the custom sleeve that Sasha made. Um, I have actually got a UK sleeve for it now. Um, which I had with a bunch of other sleeves that I didn't know I had. Um, but I like this one. It's nice. It's quite it's quite shiny, like the white. Um, so it looks very noticeable on the shelf. Chronicle. 
I've got a love, I've got a love hate relationship with this. Circuit de Freak, Vampire's Assistant. Tier 3. Tier 3. Clash of the Titans. Wrath of the Titans, that's what I mean. So, different ladder, but it's a sequel. Click. Cliffhanger. Collateral. Colossal. It's weird. I'd rather say collapsal. I don't know why. I know it's colossal. Condemned. Coraline. Corpse Bride. Crimson Peak. Really interesting watch. Cube. One of my favourite, like, thrillers. Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Death Race. Death Race 2. The Departed. The Devil's Double. Die Hard. Die Hard 2. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Die Hard Who Gives a Fuck. Die Hard Why? That was... Four and five at the end. I just... Who gives a fuck and why sounds much more interesting than 4.0 and a good day to die hard. Whoever comes up with these fucking titles, get a real job. Please. Who wants to go see a film called A Good Day to Die Hard? It's not a good day. District 9, one of my favourite alien invasion movies. Django and Chain. Ho! Oh! Dorian Gray. Dragon Age. Present from my Dubbo. Laying over there. She knows who she is. She's amazing. Dragon Heart. Sean Connery's best movie. <laughs> Dragon Wars. Don't get it. Dream House. Really good movie. Due date, hilarious. This would be dumb and dumber, but it's a foreign version, so it's dum uch dumir. And dumb and dumber too. E.T. I'm not going to make the joke a lot of people make about that film saying the extra testicle. It was funny when you first hear it, and then after a while you just start going, like, this is the community. Ed Wood. Ed Wouldn't. See? I'm part of the shitty community of puns. I probably ain't going to do that again, though. Edward Scissorhands. Edge of Darkness. Really good Mel Gibson movie. Electric Dreams. End of Watch. Aragon. Ernest goes to camp. Ernest goes to jail. Ernest goes stupid. Gotta love Ernest. The Eye. Faces in a crowd. Family Guy. Something, something, something dark side. Family Guy. It's a trap. See, you guys can't see what I'm seeing while I'm laughing, thinking I'm hilarious. I look over to Alice and she's like... Well, she didn't do that. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Okay. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the half blood Prince. Oh, I really hate those two disc sets. But... Yeah. I mean, why not do a box set of the separate releases? That would be so much easier. Right. 
The Fast and the Furious. Too Fast, Too Furious. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious. Fast Five. Fast and Furious Six. Furious Seven. Now on to Tier Four. Tier Four. The Fault in Our Stars. Fifth Element. Final Fantasy Advent Children. One of the greatest game to movie movies to ever exist. A lot of people say that like game to films they're, they're terrible. That's one of the greatest. Franklin, one of the greatest British psychological thrillers to exist. The UK doesn't do many great movies. You know, you've got to give us one occasionally. Fourth kind. G.I. Joe, Rise of the Cobra. G.I. Joe, Retaliation. Galaxy Quest. I think everyone's got their own Galaxy Quest at some point. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Ghostbusters Reboot, Answer the Call. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Goodfellas. I'd like to thank Sasha for this sleeve. The one that I printed, if you saw my video of my like collection update, it just it looked okay to me, but it didn't look right. This, it looks like the official release. It's just a scan from the one that he made, so um, it looks like the proper release. So I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Green Mile. Gremlins. Gremlins 2. Groundhog Day. Guyver. Please release Dark Hero, Arrow. There's no reason why you can't. Halo Fall of Reach. Halo Forward Unto Dawn. Halo Nightfall. Hannah. Great movie. Hansel and Gretel. Happy Death Day. Hilarious horror. Happy Feet. Which I don't actually remember keeping. I think I might have to give that to Alice. I don't remember keeping Happy Feet. I'll give it to her. I know she'll like it. Heat. The Help. A really interesting movie. Uh, really enjoyable. Hereafter. Hitman. Hitman Age of 47. Um, I do enjoy this one. This for me was a lot better. Um, I think the way Hitman was portrayed in this one. It, just, it was stuck more to the game. Than in this version. Hook. Host. Hot Fuzz. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Hurt Locker. I Robot. I Am Heath Ledger. Great documentary on his life. Such a fantastic actor gone way too soon. I Am Legend. Identity. Another one of my favourite thriller movies. The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. Um, talking about Heath Ledger. It was um, his final performance. Inception. The Indiana Jones Collection, which was a gift from Roger Donstar, from Channel Donstar. A great man. Go and check out all of his videos. Um, I know a lot of you already have. But to those who have subbed to me that you know doesn't know anyone, um, he doesn't do videos much anymore. He's got a lot going on. Just show him some love. Show him some support. Mr. Man. I want to see him soon. Incar. Iron Giant. Iron Sky. Jumanji. Jumanji's technical sequel, Zathura. Jungle. Karate Kid. 
kick ass King Kong Deluxe Edition um, or Ultimate Edition but the DVD version is called the Deluxe it's, they're practically the same thing um, now on to tier 5 right. tier 5 Kite Runner League of Extraordinary Gentlemen my favourite portrayal of Dorian Gray is in this really enjoyable film Lethal Weapon Collection The Librarian Trilogy if no one's seen this if you've only seen the show or you've never heard of this or the show check these movies out they're pretty enjoyable Little Shop of Horrors The Lorax Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring Lord of the Rings The Two Towers and Lord of the Rings Return of the King great trilogy of movies lovely bones like I've said in a previous review and talked if you're a parent and you watch this film my heart goes out to you like the, the fears and stuff that you get in your head when watching this it's totally understandable Lucy Matrix Matrix Reloaded Matrix Revolution Me Before You, Men in Black 3, Miss You Already, Money Monster, great movie, totally unexpected, Moulin Rouge, my number one film of all time, nothing can beat it, The Mummy, Mummy Returns, Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, um, I like the first two, I'm not so keen on the Dragon Emperor. Never ending story. Next. Night of the Museum. Night of the Museum 2, which I know in the US is called Night of the Museum and the Battle of the Smithsonian. And uh, Night of the Museum 3, The Secret of the Tomb. Now you see me. Observe and report. The Orphanage. The Other Guys. Pan's Labyrinth. Paranormal Activity. Paranormal Activity 2. Paranormal Activity 3. Paranormal Activity 4. Pathology. A great thriller. Paul. Pitch Black. Police Academy 1 and 2. Porky's. One of the best teenage high school movies to exist. Power Rangers. Prometheus. Alien Covenant. Alien. Aliens. Alien 3. Alien Resurrection Predator Predator 2 Predators AVP AVP Re Requiem Psycho Red Riding Hood Repo The Genetic Opera Resident Evil 1 to 4. Resident Evil Retribution. Rise of the Foot Soldier Part 2. The Robocop Trilogy. The Robocop Reboot. Rocky. Rocky 2. Rocky 3. Rocky 4. Rocky 5. Rocky Balboa. My favourite Rocky, Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> Safe Haven. Saw. Favourite horror. Still thriller. Still should have left it on its own. <laughs> Still should have left it on its own. Scooby Doo. Scorpion King. This technically should have been a, with the mummies. It's just, it's only a prequel to Mummy 2. 
And I didn't really want to have Mummy, Scorpion King, Mummy 2. Because then it'd kind of be out of whack. Mm, weird. Secret Life of Pets. Ow. Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Got myself in the face. Seventh Son. Shawshank Redemption. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes The Game of Shadows. Shutter Island. Signs. Silent Hill. Another great game to movie film. Sisters. The Sixth Sense. Skyline, my second favourite alien invasion movie. Small Soldiers. The Smurfs. Source Code. Space Jam. B2 Spy St. Trinians Stargate the movie Star Trek The Wrath of Khan Star Trek Nemesis Really interesting movie Star Trek 2009 Star Trek Into Darkness Star Wars The Complete Saga Well was the complete saga. It's one to six. So the prequels and the original. Then you got Force Awakens and um, The Last Jedi. Stealth. Step Brothers. Stir of Echoes, my, one of my favorite horror movies. Stonehurst Asylum. Sucker Punch, great psychological thriller movie, along with sci-fi, just fantastic. Super 8. And Sweeney Todd. So that was tier 6. Uh, last tier, tier 7. Hope you're ready for this. I am. <laughs> tier 7, final tier. The final frontier. Um... Ted. Terminator Salvation. Tommy Boy. Transformers. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Transporter. Transporter 2. Transporter 3. Transporter Refueled. Tremors. Triangle, Tropic Thunder, The Town, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, Breaking Dawn. I I like the Twilights. I'm not gonna deny. I mean, I I don't like Kirsten Stewart, but I like I like the Twilight. They're very enjoyable. Unbreakable and its sequel split. Underworld Rise of the Lycans, Underworld, Underworld Evolution. You need to watch Rise of the Lycans before you watch the first one. Very complicated. Unforgiven, Unstoppable, Van Helsing. Victor Frankenstein, really underrated movie. Walking on Sunshine. Water for Elephants. What We Did on a Holiday. Willy Wonka and the Charlotte Factory, I finally own it. The Wolfman. You don't mess with your hair. It's a long title. Zombieland and the Zookeeper. That is it. That is my entire collection. Um, so far, there is about 620, maybe 620 something, uh, all in total. Um, 
Yeah. I've only been collecting for a few years, and I know people would... Uh, if I hadn't sold all the ones that I had before, I probably would have been into the thousands by now, but I'm kind of glad I sold all those, because a lot of the ones I had sold, it's ones I didn't really enjoy. Um, it's going to be a bastard to edit this video. So, yeah. But, um, I enjoyed it. This was fun. Something I needed to do. And then by next November, before Christmas next year, we'll see some new shit. And, um, yeah. Hopefully, be a bit bigger then. Hopefully, there'll be like more to show. Um, hopefully, I can have an idea of where I'm going to show them next time. Because this has been a pain in my ass and my legs. Right, so you have reached the end of the video. I've had to re-record the ending because I've got a little extra thing to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed my 3D Blu-ray steelbook series and standard Blu-ray collection video of 2018. Um, I know it's not as many as most people would have. I also know it's a reasonable amount. <laughs> the reason I'm adding this little bit at the end is because of two reasons. One, um, for anyone's names that didn't get mentioned in the second recording of my 3D Blu-rays and, and the series, uh, I mentioned their names of who gave me what or who sent me what, or who I bought off what, um, in that one, but that's what took up so much time. So I didn't mention them again, because I wanted to very briefly just get through all the titles to get the video uploaded for you guys to enjoy and watch. Um, so for people whose names that didn't get mentioned, but I said that those people know who they are, for those who don't know which people gave me stuff, or sent me stuff, or I've bought stuff off of, you will see their channel links in the description below. Go and check out their channels. Go show them some love like you do me. They'd really appreciate it. The second thing before the end of this video is I want to thank all of you who have stuck with me, new and old. Um, I know I've been taking a lot of breaks from YouTube because there has been a lot of serious stuff going on in my life. Um, some good, some bad, but at the moment it's time consuming. I don't really have that much time to pick up the camera and record every little thing like I used to. It's why I was trying to quit because YouTube became a very tiny priority in my life. Um, but the good thing I want to say is that things are starting to slowly pick back up. Um, Alice is starting to do more of her gaming channel now. She's got a better PC to do Sims on. Uh, she does a lot of really great builds. She's doing these new series in the future, which I think are going to be incredible. Um, so, link to her gaming channel will also be in the description below. She also did a new movie channel video um, of her recent pickups. So, link to that channel will also be in the description below. Go and check that out. Show her some love as well. But the reason I did this video, the collection video, and the reason I did it so early is because... Um, I've been having a lot of medical issues with, with recording as well, with uh, standing in front of a camera for too long, it makes me dizzy, makes me sick, makes me feel really hot and ill, don't know why, it's just one of those things, but I really wanted to get this video recorded for you guys and upload, because I want to try and make a comeback to YouTube as strong as I can, so more frequent videos, try and do some more reviews, the unboxings may cut down dramatically because at the moment I'm sorting a lot of stuff out and I don't have time to pick up all the new releases and stuff. I don't. Um, I'd rather just wait until they go down cheap like I used to do when I felt a lot happier. Um, although I want to say if you want up to date 3D Blu-ray for like the newer releases coming out, um, check out Spare Change if you don't watch them. Yeah, check out Spare Change. A great channel. Shane does some really good in-depth, not on the story, but he does it on the 3D Blu-ray itself. He goes through all the tech specs and the aspect ratios. Love the guy. He does exactly what I wanted to do for my channel for people. He helps those who really want to buy 3D but don't want to waste the money on it unless they know it's going to be good. He helps you decide that. So, his link <laughs> will be in the description as well. Um... But yeah, the reason I wanted to do this is just to try and come back. Try and slowly build my way back into doing more videos more frequently. I need to get my phone fixed because the battery dies after like an hour of recording anything or just usage. 
when I can get everything fixed, when I can get everything sorted, you'll see me a lot more frequently. But until then, I hope this video is enough to satisfy you for a while. I don't know when the next video will be. But um, I enjoyed doing it, even though it caused me a pain in the ass. Anyway, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, don't forget to strike the like for future videos. If you're new to my channel and only seen a couple of my videos, click that subscribe button down below. I'd surely appreciate it. Anyway, take care, you wonderful, wonderful people. And I'll see you next time.